Ladies and gentlemen, this is Envoy of Kairos, back with more of The Messenger. And we've gotten pretty deep into the Sunken Shrine. I don't like how those windows look with that pattern now that I'm paying attention to it, because that looks like a creepy, very Omega Flowey kind of face. Ugh. Okay, so I've got to go down this way to get the sun crest. Simple enough. Forgot the controls for that for a second, and it's only been a day. It is a very new mechanic, though. Well... I'm most of the way to my next and final upgrade. And this is a pretty huge help. Although with that time rift there, it's looking like that might be, yeah, it was necessary, because if I hadn't, then I would have been blocked here. Damn it. Nearly dying for a dozen different reasons there. Shocked that I managed to survive that. And I died. Ugh. At least the nearest checkpoint wasn't very far. Also, uh, if I seem a bit subdued during this recording, uh, yeah, not the best day for me. I'm mainly just doing this to keep myself occupied. But, hey, I do genuinely love this game, so maybe it'll improve my mood over time. Okay, managed to get through this room without getting nearly slaughtered this time. Should be able to survive the next nut problem now. Oh, that was close. Almost got crushed there. I thought there might have been something over there. Nah, just the rift. Huh. I haven't had a clue how to get through that. This is a tricky one. Did 
This is a very tricky one. Not quite sure what that time rift is for. So it certainly doesn't appear to be helpful anyway. But then there's that seal up there. There's got to be a way to it nearby. Ah, I think I see it. As the map said, there was an exit to the left at the bottom here. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha! Got it. First try. That reminded me of quite a few Metroid Dread platforming puzzles. can get that 258 I still need by the end of this episode. Because getting that last upgrade right about now would be god sent, especially if I can somehow get it before taking on the boss for this area. I just know for a place like this, there's going to be a bitch of a boss fight. Well, that's plenty hazardous. Okay, yeah, there's a pretty big secret tucked over here. Looks like it's just time shards, but this will get me a hundred closer to my goal. Yep. Actually, not quite a hundred, but close. And there's the Sunstone. Seems I've beaten this area already. Save for whatever's behind the door, which will most assuredly be a boss. Have I gotten all of the... Yeah, I've gotten all of the power seals here. Okay, then. I just need to find one in Quelchroom Marsh, two in Searing Crags, three in the Underworld, two at Glacial Peak, and three in the Cloud Ruins. Which I'm guessing most of the ones in Cloud Ruins are probably in the past. Oh, wait. I forgot there was something tucked down here. Okay, now I can go up. Okay. Open the sesame, bitch. Hmm. 
Now what kind of fucked up boss waits with him? I'll find that as soon as I've gotten these. Now I go. Oh. Okay, no boss. Very interesting perspective here. Oh. Okay, that's cool. That much is very true. Time shards? Okay. That's another one down. Hmm. I'm sure there's a lot to be said about that, but I'm not quite sure what I could say about that. That was really something. But now... Now I need to return. And keep finding my way forward. Surprised that I managed to get across that on my first try. Shit. Okay. I need to work my way back up. Let's take the shortcut back into the south part of Quilshroom Forest that I came here from. I got through that rather flawlessly. And here's my shortcut back. Let's see how fast it is going this way, not fighting the current. Okay, and now I can finish exploring this forest. Find whatever else is hiding down here. Oh. 
loading another new area. This is taking me pretty high. There's a lot of cacti here all of a sudden. Where am I? Oh, I found a new entrance to the crags. Okay. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Hey, I can use the water walking to get across that lava. And the achievement is the lava is floored. That's wonderful. You're very welcome. Well, that's another of them saved. Oh, I get the feeling this... This is leading me back to the underworld. Okay, so I've suddenly gone from the sunken temple of gods straight to hell. Ain't that something. And I can see where all the metals I'm missing are, and there's this one huge stretch down here that probably has to do with the missing melody. And that was stupid. But, I'm not quite sure I want to be here right now. Although, actually... No, you know what, yeah. I only need seven more, but... I'll get them faster and die less if I go back up to the mountain. So yeah, I'll be headed up from here. Wow, that was a quick rise. see it. Okay. Oh. Okay, this one's gonna take a bit. Yeah. Oh, and I get thrown all the way back down here. Wonderful.
Oh, come on, stop dropping me into that. And my alarm's just gone off, so... I'm gonna cut this episode here while I make my way up to... the save point at the top of the mountain. So I can use the shop there and get that final upgrade. And I'll see you guys next time when I already have that upgrade and, well, when I'm about to buy that upgrade. And then I'll try and get that seal again. Later, guys. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're looking to support me a little further, you know, maybe get some bonus content, or just keep up with me and other fans, you can find links down in the description leading to my Patreon, my Discord, and my Twitter. And, you know, if you're following me on Patreon, then you can expect some content polls to decide what's coming up on the channel yet. A little bit of, uh, background additions to some other series I've been working on, you know, some more original and creative stuff. And who knows, if enough of you start supporting me soon, I might have a few other surprises up my sleeve too. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all again on the next video.